What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with Georgers. As you can see, we are in our camper. And this morning we've got a lot planned, so we're actually going to head over to the shower house and take a shower. And that's because I didn't know I had to empty the green tank separately. Hello, little bear. Are you ready to get this day started? I hear somebody else who's ready to get this day started. Hi, Yazzie, how are you? You're so cute. Are you ready to go take a shower? Yay. Oh yeah, let's go find the rest of the family. Look at our nice little Hi. cozy spot. There's Jackson M. Yes, you've always been back. You're finally hanging out with us today. And we missed you, kiddo. Everybody missed you. Everybody's been asking where you've been. Do you want to tell them where you go on the weekend? Hello! To my grandma's house. That's right, you go hang out with grandma because grandma's cool, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's get our day started by going to take a shower because we all stink. All right, the family actually took off without me and they committed a cardinal sin. It's one of the unwritten rules of camping in a campsite. And I forgot to tell them, but they actually walked through somebody's campsite, which I didn't know that's a no-no. I just learned that myself just the other day because I was watching Don't Be a Campsite Idiot. And it's basically like walking through somebody's yard. Like you wouldn't just go to a neighborhood that you've never been through and start walking through people's yards, would you? That's pretty much the equivalent. That's why you don't want to walk through people's campsites. And with how close this thing is to us anyways, you shouldn't have to walk through the campsites. Literally got here just a few seconds before me. All right, so in her haste, getting everybody ready, uh, the honey actually forgot to grab me stuff. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So I had to run back and grab myself a towel and a loofah and my body wash. And I'm taking out recycling as well. All right, I'm all done. That only took me a few minutes, which is nice. But here's a look at the inside of a facility like one of these. If you're ever wondering, would you want to go in here and shower? So you got your urinals, of course. This is the men's bathroom. You've got your toilets and more toilets on this side, which is wonderful. And then here's your shower. Like, absolutely spacious. You've got your changing room area. It has its own curtain that you could just bring over and then the shower area which this one is just a a stationary head which I actually use this one which I wish I would use the other one this one was a little bit less cleanly and there was bugs all over the place which is fine for your camping so if you don't like bugs this might not be for you I'm worried about the honey over there because I'm gonna assume that her bathroom was full of bugs too but I'm gonna try and head over there I'm not gonna go in of course I'm gonna knock be respectful and see what I can get out of her all right, Jax, what was it like your first experiencing shower at a campsite? <laughs> it was that good? Yeah, it's not bad, right? It wasn't bad at all. We had to go here because our tank was full. Yeah, because Dad's, Dad's a little bit of a dummy and forgot to check it before we left the last campsite, which actually had sewer for us, and this one doesn't. But we do have a dump site, right? Yeah. yeah, we do. And we're going to use it sometime soon. They just took a shower and they're already puddle jumping. Let's see this one. Trudging behind. Come on, you can make it over it. Over, please. Oh, no. Over the puddles, please. Here come the other two hooligans. Are you going to help her? Oh, you're such a sweetie pie. Well, you tried. There you go, over the puddle. Next. Yep, very good. Not Yazzie, though. All right, let's get back to the camper. It's getting kind of cold. I should have started filming sooner, but they were all running just like that. Make sure you guys wipe your feet. There you go. Good job, Ev. Make sure you pull. Nice. Back up. Very nice. And they're learning. We're all learning. That's what I taught them. Step, wipe, wipe. All right, Yazzie, your turn. Hold the door for Yazzie. I'll hold the door for the Good job. Step, wipe, wipe. All right, that's enough wipe wiping. You're going to wipe the bottom of your shoes away. Good job, Jax. Well, yeah, that's what wear and tear is. All right, now Dad's turn. Step, wipe, wipe. Step, wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe. And of course, I have my indoor and outdoor shoes, so these will stay outside, and I'll put my other ones on. All right, so a sneak peek as to why we all had to take a shower. It's because I recently learned at our second site, which does not have a sewage dump, that you can actually press these and... There you go, we're two thirds full in that black tank. Two thirds full in that black tank, which I had absolutely no clue that this one was that full. Like we wouldn't think about that it was that full because nobody was using that bathroom at the time. And then the main gray water, which is our bathroom in the kitchen is completely full, unfortunately, because we just learned 
that doing a load of laundry in here will really fill that up quick and then their grain tank which we've been trying to utilize more is only a third full so it is essential that we dump at the dump station soon because we do not have sewer hookups here which is a little bit unfortunate but this place was very nice and it was very affordable so while we wait for people to clear out so i can actually get this thing out of here no problem let's take a tour quick tour see what we've got this is the master bathroom which one which is uh where we've been using most of the bathroom they have their bathroom way in the back but we'll get to that in a second we've been starting to make it feel like home we've got stuff in the cabinets and stuff in the mirrors which is nice and of course stuff in those cabinets look we've got towels we've got towels and washcloths and we're, we were ready to take showers and the honey's actually taken two showers in here already so they fill up pretty quick if you're not dumping it consistently but Let's take a look where all the magic happens. Look at this, our nice little home room. And of course, I say the magic happens here because it's where I have my workstation. That's where all the YouTube magic happens. And the honey has her workstation now too. And she's making YouTube magic happen. I'm so proud of this little diaper box trash can that I made. And this is literally one of the best things I've ever done. One of the best things I've ever put together in my life. And I'm really proud of it. And there you can see we have our closet. I've got my side. She's got her side all separated by a million hangers. And then there's m bunches of shelves just all over the place. Shelves, shelves, shelves. So tons of storage, a lot more than we thought. And there's actually storage underneath the bed. Let's see if I can get it. No, I cannot because my table is overhanging. I have to move the table out first, which I'll do another time. So you'll just have to imagine that there's this entire king size bed, which we didn't know was a king. I assumed it was a queen just because they're smaller, be less space. But no, I believe the people who owned this before us, look, they updated because the bed hangs way over the uh the platform here so it's hanging over on each side by at least my whole palm length so from thumb to middle finger it's hanging over that much and when i measured it this morning it definitely is a king so gonna have to get bigger sheets all right so coming this way mom's actually getting barren dressed she just got back from the shower and this is our little table that we have been enjoying so much more than we thought we would which is great and these chairs, which are nice, and so they recline, and yeah, they heat up, and they vibrate, and look, you put the baby on it, and they just pass out. He loves it. Look at him getting all pampered by mom. Oh, that's the best. That's the best. What a cutie pie. And over here, our little kitchen. We actually bought an insert for the sink, which helps out a lot, because instead of dumping the water straight into your great tank, you wash everything in here, and then you can either dump it outside, which it is cleanish water, you know, it's just dishwater so it's not like it's sewage or anything like that so it's okay to dump outside and that way you save space in your tank which is what we've been doing because this great tank that connected to this and our bathroom is full here we have our little just like jumble jack area which we're going to organize a little bit more we actually had it really nice and clean and we're going to have to reorganize it again and then cabinets upon cabinets i've actually got my tools hiding up there away from the kids some gloves and stuff and washer dryer essentials right here and of course we're using all he stuff and the honey likes the aesthetic of things being in clear jars for some reason so we're gonna go ahead and keep that so definitely using the free and gentle this is also free and gentle as well because we don't want chemicals i guess i'm not sure what's the big deal about it but this little bad boy can take up to three hours for one load and the loads are pretty small that's why we've got a pile of laundry just sitting right here waiting for that tank to be emptied and uh it takes about three hours and I think it gets it pretty clean the first load that we did was really good and the dry time is why it takes so long like you can see right here it has a two hour dry time but then there's also a max load so that could be even more I have yet to utilize the stove because we really don't have any utensils for cooking yet I still haven't pulled them out of the storage unit we're a little far away from the storage unit so we're getting things as we need to as we're in the area so we're not spending too much on gas and then this is one of my favorite areas our little entertainment system in here We've been using this daily, just been blasting music all day, and it's crazy because you cannot hear it from the outside, even if it's at full blast. All right, before we get on our journey, a quick sneak peek at the kids' bedroom. This couch, I think we're going to remove, and we're going to use storage because obviously we have a little bit more stuff than we need, but there's Jackson's bed, which needs to be made, and they've got storage right here. They've got storage right here, storage here, and of course, storage right here. So they've got plenty of storage in their room, tons of stuff. And the only thing that's not really an issue, but it's something that we're going to have to think of is just putting this stuff in the right spot so the slides can close because that's the only thing we really need to worry about with this, which I don't think this is a slide now that I really think about it. This is the only slide in here, so we'll have like all this room right here for things to go. And this ladder actually goes underneath, <clears throat> which is nice. So there's 
Yasmin's bed, and up there is Evelyn's bed, and she loves Pokemon just like her brother Jax. Hey, look, a sock. Gotta take that and put that in the dirty laundry. That's just gonna sit there for a second. Jackson's over oh, here playing with his little brother. Look I at him. I was gonna get a multi Put him to sleep. You're so cute, kiddo. You were literally the best big brother. I was singing to him. I know, you're awesome. And now he's out. I love it. This is how I 100% know these kids are mine because when I was little I used to love to hide and I used to read and or color. And look, I just keep finding them. They love this closet. Hello! Yeah, I found you guys. <laughs> you are so cute. Too freaking cute. Normally they're on my side, but I guess they chose the emptier side, which is mom's. Alright, so we're finally done. We're heading out and this place is gonna be cleared out, I believe here in a few hours because you know people come to spend time with their family on the weekends which is pretty cool which it is Sunday today so people are gonna be checking out and it'll open up room for me to actually get my camper out because it is wedged in between two very large campers and I'm not comfortable yet trying to maneuver plus with the way the site is that we got it was a pull through so the only way to get my truck around would be literally to drive around everybody's campers through the grass through the woods to get the truck positioned in front of it Here's my ride. Woo! Ain't that beautiful. I'm so Where excited. Where do you need a ride? Yeah, I'm going this way. Which way are y'all going? We're going that way. All right, I like you, Coon. I forgot he's in here. <laughs> I know, he's so quiet. He's so quiet, I love it. <laughs> Pulling up to Leeds Farm. Look at this beautiful place. Look at these little cold bugs. <laughs> You're so silly, girl. And mommy's got baby boy in the warmest spot on earth right now. Oh man, I'm jealous. It's a little nipply today. It nippy is. today, yeah. Just a little bit. Are you guys gonna make it? I think right as soon as you guys start playing, you guys are gonna drop those blankets and we're never gonna yeah. see them again. All right, let's get to it. All right, so our admission is paid, and now we just got to give everybody their little barn pass. Whoop. There you go. Make sure you stay. Uh, keep that on you so we don't lose it. You get, you get a, a special pumpkin one. Pumpkin special one. Not quite old enough to get paid entry yet. You get a free entry. You get. Boop. There's Jackson's. We're going to have a ton of fun, and Mom's got hers. Mommy. And then Just yours. put it right there. Thank you. All right, so welcome to the back 40 parents. Please be sure your children are under your supervision and no one else's. That makes sense. Let's uh, keep our eyes on all of these little prizes. This is a massive farm with tons of activities for everybody. That's where I want to do all my activities. That's where they have the food and the concession stands and all the drinks and stuff. But first, we're going to play in some hay. Hey, what you doing up there in that hay? You can't make that. That's like 10,000 miles. Whoa! That that, you made that look easy. All right, next up on the list of things to play with, corn. We already played with wheat and hay, now we're gonna play with corn. I think after we're done here, we're gonna go play in some milk just to get all the food groups almost out of the way because there is a petting barn. So we're gonna play with our meats after that and then we're gonna play with the dairies somewhere. All right, so this is what we could spend absolute hours doing, right? You guys love being buried in corn. Yes! Why do you like corn so much? <laughs> it has the dust. This has the dust, that's for sure. Oh no, we can't feed them. You guys didn't save any of that corn, did you? Evelyn, what are those? Yeah, do you love them? They're so cute. Got them all roasting in the corner. Oh man. They're hungry. Warming up dinner. It looks like they've picked that one. All right. Uh, you like that one? I'm sorry, buddy. She's just tricking you. She ain't got no food. <laughs> You're such a turkey. Careful, they bite. One of them's gonna nibble on your finger. You keep teasing them. Ah, he's gonna get you. Oh, but this one. These You're goats, so cute. These are the kinds of goats that used to eat my dress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta give them food. You can't just keep teasing them. If you look around on the floor, you might find some food to feed them. People drop food all the time. All right, we'll look for him. Yeah, found some? Yeah, there you go. Hand it to him. Just put it right in his mouth. 
There you go. Was that awesome or what? All right, Jackson found a bunch. All right, yep, let them eat them right out of your hand. There you go. They're so gentle. Hey, look. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. All right, look at that. We're drawing a crowd. We have a little bucket now. All right, just put them right in there. Let's get Yazzie getting some. <laughs> Let me see Yazzie. This one is just begging. I don't have nothing, but look at its tiny little teeth. Let me see your teeth. <laughs> tiny little teeth. Not that one. This one. Of course, he's not paying attention to me no more. Now that I'm filming, it's like all my other kids. See those tiny little teeth. <laughs> Got the whole family in the corner, rounding them up. This little guy is a little aggressive. Careful getting your head so close to him, he might try to headbutt you. He's trying to nip. All right, what'd you find? They, yeah, they eat anything. They're goats. They'll try it. Yasmin's over here beating them up. Girl, relax before they start beating you up. <laughs> She's so little. She's so little. Oh my gosh. Careful, Yazzie, that's enough, baby. I know, they like it. It's like some type of affection to them. Man, look, this one just nuzzled that thing out of the way. Oh, wow. Can he even get his head back through? Oh, he just pulled it in my head. Oh, my gosh, he pulled it. I want to see him get his head back through with his horns. Watch out, yeah, Evelyn. Evelyn, watch out, baby. Did that one nibble you, Jax? What? That one nibble you? No, he's looking. Let's see. Put your head back in there. I want to see him trying to put his head back in there. Look, his horns are green. From this. Oh wow, in. yeah. Look, they're all scraped up. <laughs> yeah. How's Baron doing? King he is Baron. Doing. Oh, he just pulled his head right in as I turned around. Oh my gosh. But he did it so smooth, so I don't think there's an issue. Good for him, he Look figured it all out. Oh yeah, he figured it all out. Hey, Good for you. What's up, buddy? If you want to get him to lick you, here's a trick you. Oh, that's smart. Check it out, y'all. We've got lambs. Look at this little baby yam. And two of my favorite animals. No, not the kids. The donkey. The donkey. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Made somebody laugh. That's good. We just missed them. They were screaming. I know. They screamed as soon as I walked in. Yeah, they saw you. They were like, look. I feed me that baby. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing now. They want food. What are we supposed to put in here? That's what you put their food in so they don't bite you. Donkeys are kind of mean. Those little pebble things? Yeah, probably the same thing, yeah. Oh man, look at all that donkey pile. He's building his own rock wall. I'm afraid those aren't rocks, sir. Don't you know the animals are camera shy? Oh, they're, they're getting out of your swamp now, Jax. When they do play mirror, ring around the Rosie. Donkey, get back in my room. What did it sound like? <laughs> my little donkeys. All right, before we get to any more types of foods to play with. We're gonna go ahead and play with these big old tubes. Look at her go, <laughs> she's just sliding along. There you go. All right, yeah, we're going this way. Uh-oh, opposite forces. All right, push, push, push. You guys are going uphill. It's a lot harder, but look at you guys go. Yazzie's doing all the work. Come on, guys, pick up the pace. You're doing such a good job, Yazzie. Look, who's doing all the work now? They're just flying downhill. Nice, way to get back in. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, we lost one. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. All right, we gotta go back uphill now. That was all downhill. I forgot to film my expeditions on the rolly tubes over there. I was actually in there standing up. Mom didn't take my phone to record. We got the Holstein Hustle, which is just a cow ride. Look at them go. All right, there's the kiddos. All situated in the back of the train for some reason. I guess that's the fun part. They're so cute. She wants to sit with her big sister so bad. All right, 
and there they go. Bye bye. I love you guys. I love you. Enjoy your Holstein hustle. <laughs> what are you? What is going on with your hair right now? <laughs> Are you gonna fix it or no? You just like it? Okay, it's like shaders. <laughs> so as I turn this way, I must. Okay, I don't know. Your hair is on attack today. It's attacking your face. What's been your favorite part of today so far? Being with you guys. I know Legit. this has been this is so like much literally fun. Literally, so relaxing. It is a little chilly, but it's nothing we can. But we're moving around, yeah, so we're keeping we're moving warm. And He's definitely keeping me super warm. Yeah, so that's he's great. so cute. He's a little at bundle him. of joy. Still and sleeping. Love. Yeah, that's the coziest place on earth. <laughs> that used to be my spot. <laughs> Booted. <laughs> I know. Kicked me out one at a time. He just kept kicking me farther and farther. I know. You haven't been able to get in here. And these kids just keep popping up out of nowhere. So how is that even And happening? like, I don't even know how it's happening. There's no clue. <laughs> there they are, back from their ride. Look at my little cow people. Around the other way, bud. Uh oh, leading by example. Follow Big Bubby. You guys left the little one. You guys left the little one. <laughs> Look at them coming to her rescue. Aww. Good job, saving sissy. Good job. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Good job. Thank you so much. All right, where do you where do you guys want to go next? Yes, let's go get some food. Oh, food and trampoline. Yes, let's go eat and puke. I like it. Oh no, we've got tears in our eyes because we just found out she's too little. Jackson and Evelyn are big enough to jump on the bouncy thing. Me and Yazzie are too little. We're not allowed to, right? Maybe next year. Gorgeous. You are so pretty. How are you not freezing? Yeah, because you're running around like a mad woman. Hey, they're waiting for you. Goodbye. What are you guys going to do? Alright, so since Yazzie is too small to ride on the big bubble, we're going to go down and we're going to ride this big slide together. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> yeah. Alright, you guys. They're almost up the big hill. And I'm not sure George George is going to make it out alive, honestly. This is kind of scary. <laughs> this is a huge tunnel. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! Um, that looked way crazy! Oh man! How was it? That was fast and bumpy. Yeah, fast and bumpy. I, think I tore my knee. Does what it look funny? <laughs> Does my knee look funny? Yeah, Does it looks. Look funny? It looks a little funny. Oh. All right, so look at this old timey scene right here. This is what you'd see maybe a hundred years ago. People having a whole crop of children so they could run the farm equipment. Yeah, more hands make it easy. Look at you, yeah, you're a professional. You guys are gonna make sure we're, we're kept fed. I like it. Beautiful leadership, buddy. Over here at the uh, Leeds Farm Cafe. They've got a playground for kids, which is awesome because we never get a chance to order because they always just want to come here and play. But luckily, we've got mom over there ordering. All right, so this place doesn't have a huge selection of food, but we did get a chicken sandwich, a couple of hot dogs, which you can see how that went over. And then they have hot chocolate, and they have apple cider, and then they have a pumpkin spice tea, which is for the honey. Actually, Who's ordering more food? Cider. Actually, it's a cold cider. Yeah, we'll see. I want hot apple cider. What apple cider? Hot apple cider. It's cold outside. It's just, it's a Check it out. Everybody's in the old Chevrolet. It looks like the same color as ours. You guys like it? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little bit rusty. The doors don't open, but you can always squeeze in through the back, just like most trucks. You'll get up there. You got to find the right way. Look. Come on. Was this a fun way to end our day here at the beautiful Leeds Farm? Like, take a look at this last view, folks. What a beautiful, beautiful area. There's tons to do. Not the cheapest. Prices have gone up a few years since we've been here. But, oh, you want to get in? All right, there they go. Breaking and entering into their first vehicle. 
my little three musketeers. Fourth one is all cuddled up and cozy. There he is. I have the moves that put him to sleep. I don't know what it is, but just, just the motion of how I walk just always puts him to sleep. And that was my role as dad in the middle of the night. I would wake up and I would grab him and I would just start marching with him. Marching all through the house, singing songs, and just getting them to go back to this state. From whatever fussiness or whatever bad dreams they may have had, that was my job as dad. Love it. All right, y'all, come check out these crazy kids on these tunnel slides. <laughs> she just got. Come on, Ev. <laughs> All right, that's it for our adventure today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Mom and Dad are going to cozy up now and get all nice and warm. Oh, and watch maybe a movie by the fire. Oh, I'm so excited. So thank you again for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you turn on all notifications as well because it helps to get the videos to you when we make them. And give the video a thumbs up. And in the comment section below, let us know if there's a farm by you that you love going to during this time of year. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.